welcome to another video. Walking the wild side and I'm in a bit of an unfamiliar part of town at the moment. Uh, that road over there is called London Road. Yeah, it's a bit of a, a council estate, or it used to be a council estate, a lot of council houses around here. But this road here is called Corn Street. And uh, I've actually done a video on Corn Street. Yeah, it's quite a long road. It leads all the way from um, Leighton, Leighton area, right into the town centre. But in this video, I want to take you along Devonshire Road because there's a plot of land there where they're looking to build a new magistrate's court. And I think that they're starting to do a little bit of groundwork on the area there. So we'll go and take a look at that, shall we? So here's a look up Corn Street towards the east. It ends up in a park. It goes to like a dead end and you go into like a park. I think it's called King's Coat Park. And as you can see, we've got quite a few council houses or ex-council houses around here. This road down here is called Manchester Road. That one down there that goes off that way. And we're coming up to Devonshire Road, this junction here. And that's where I want to take you. Here's a look down Manchester Road. Doesn't look like a very big road, that one. I don't think I've ever been down that street, you know. It's, a, it's amazing how many streets in Blackpool I've never actually been down. Yeah. But anyway, I have been down this street before a few times. Uh, get a good view of the town in a minute. Now, we are now looking straight down Corn Street, roughly, well, I would say we're roughly looking sort of southwest. I'm trying to work it out, southwest. Look at that view of the tower. Wow, there you go. Look at that. Getting a cracking view of the tower here. I did do a night walk down this street. If you want to check it out, I'll probably put it at the end of this video if you want to see that one. But this junction here is pretty busy. So this is Devonshire Road running across here, and that way takes you to Devonshire Square on the sort of eastern end of town. And if you were to carry on, along this road here and go all the way you'd eventually get up to Fleetwood but it does change the name it changes into Fleetwood Road so I'll tell you what let's just cross over here I want to try and keep this video running if I can so I'll just show you what you can see over this side so so just over there is Devonshire school or it used to be yeah it is Devonshire school is it a primary school that's Devonshire school over there I'm filming this on a Sunday by the way because you always get some clever clever sod there's always some clever sod that says what are you doing filming outside the school it's changed a bit look at that quite fancy isn't it Devonshire school yeah, so it's all changed around here in the last sort of uh, 10 years or so because this is the area where you can see the big massive high-rise flats. We've got a farm foods here. That wasn't there. I don't think that was there back then. I don't know. But if you look over there, past this speed camera, watch out for the speed camera. Let's have a look at the speed camera. Has it been vandalised? Uh, yeah, it might have, might have had some, some uh, vandalised vandalism done to it. They do sometimes paint on them, don't they? But look at that there. Does that look like a school? I don't know what it looks like. It's a bit of a carbuncle really, isn't it? But anyway, as we look this way, over the little store there, you see over there, that's where you would have seen the high-rise flat. They would have dominated the skyline. And the most dominant one was Walter Robinson Court. It was 22 storeys. 22 storey. 
I don't know who Walter Robinson was, but maybe he was a council figure, council leader or something. But Walter Robinson Court was somewhere about there, and then he had four others, four other, I think they were 14 storey, 14 storey flats around there. Quite a big car park to Devonshire Road School. And we've got quite a big car park here. We've got a Costa there, look. A Costa, is it a drive through I don't know. But this is farm foods. So I've just given you a look around. It's, I can't, oh, hang on a minute. It was, was it Honda? It was Honda, wasn't it? Was it Bill Head? John Hall, that's it, John Hall. John Hall Honda used to be right here. Yeah, in this space here, John Hall. I got it in the end. <laughs> Thought I'd nip across the road and give you another view from the other side. So we're now looking sort of south down Devonshire Road. We've got the farm foods over there. This is where John Hall's Honda used to be. And uh, check it out, we've got grass verges. Look at that. I don't think that Costa is a drive through. The KFC is though. There's a KFC over there. So this is the little store. We'll get to that site in a, in a bit. It's, it's right at the end where they're going to be building the new magistrates' courts. And I think they're doing a bit of work in it. So uh, we'll have a look at that a little bit later. But I just want to quickly show you down here. So this is a little car park, massive car park. Now, if you look over there, can you see them houses? I have actually done a video in Leighton if you want to check it. It was a couple of years ago but they've now got two and three storey townhouses that replace those big, massive blocks. Well, one thing hasn't really changed is this big block here. We've got this three storey block here. It's got solar panels on the roof. That's still existing. That road there is called Laycock Gate. And there's an interesting building here. I think it was an engineering works. An engineering works out there. That building there, it's all been done up. It was empty for a while. So yeah, the, the, the Leighton High Rise looked right over here. So they've had a cracking view of Blackpool Tower, straight down that street there. Uh, that street is called George Street and that takes you right up to the council offices. It takes you right up to where the council are looking to, um, you know, build that university. Right up there, George Street, yeah. You can see that new building, they put up the DWP there, check it out. And this is the KFC. And as you can see, they're doing a lot of work here. Not sure if this is all connected. It might not have anything to do with it, I don't know, but we'll have a look anyway. We're doing a lot of work digging up the pavement here. Got temp temporary traffic lights in. So there's a look down Laycock Gate over there, towards where the, the big high rise flats used to be. Right down there. Tell you what, it's pretty busy here at the moment. This, these temporary traffic lights are uh, making the traffic back up quite a bit. But we're just coming up to another road now. This this road is called Boothley Road. I'll turn you around. It's a lot. Of, oh my goodness! Look at that hole there. Wow. Oh. oh. It could just be unconnected. To the, uh, I don't know. They are replacing a lot of the gas mains in Blackpool at the moment, so it could just be that. But this is Boothley Road. Now there's a building up here. It used to be a training centre. It used to be called iTech. I know some people that went there. Some of my friends went there. Can you see that building there? There's a building. Looks a bit like a telephone exchange. I'm not going to go up there, but. That used to be like a training centre in the older days. I don't know what it is now. This is a cracking place, by the way. Discount wallpaper and fab home interiors. This is brilliant, this place. It's really good. If you get a chance to go here, go.
go in here. That's got some cracking stuff in there for decorating your house. Here's a little look at the roadworks from the other side. Got uh, some takeaways over the road. We've got one on the corner there called Goodfellas, but it doesn't look like it's open. There's another one here which looks like it's having a lot of work done to it. We've got a Chinese takeaway. That's a bit of a funny looking house, that one there, isn't it? Looks like it's had the back end chopped off. What do you reckon? Well, I'm coming up this way now, and we're now on the site. It's the site of the old hospital, by the way. The Devonshire Road Hospital. Look at this wall that goes around the outside. It's a fancy wall, isn't it? And it's made out of Accrington brick. Yeah, that's Accrington brick, that. You can always tell these old places with the walls. They have some fancy walls. Uh, and look at this here, massive pile of soil and rubble. Hiya! <laughs> Outside the, the main gate here, this is the main gate. I just want to quickly show you down this road here. I don't know the name of the road, but I'm pretty sure there used to be a, um, a confectioner's down there, a rock factory. You might let me know in the comments. Uh, was it called Car Shelton? I might be wrong. But I think that there was a confectioner's down there. Anyway, let's just turn around, shall we? Because the roadworks pretty much end, well, here. So this, you see these gates here, this gateway? This is the entrance. Well, it's probably going to be the entrance to the new... I don't know. They might change it onto a different road. I don't know. So this is the site here of the old hospital where the new magistrates' courts are going. They're probably going to put something else in here as well. The last... Uh, the last people to use it was the ambulance service they used it for oh, about a year while they had their new hub built at South Shore but this is how it looks at the moment and this is going to be the site of the new Blackpool Magistrates Court there's that building over there I was talking about the training centre I remember it being iTech does anyone else remember that on Boothley Road so that was a little look at the site there, I'll just show you a bit more. I'm going to head up here to Talbot Square. Not Talbot Square, Talbot Road. <laughs> That's the Asso Garage over there. Sorry, what? I've just noticed something on that building over there. Uh, does that need a new lintel? Because the bricks have dropped. Just above that sign there. That looks a bit... Uh, <laughs> that looks a bit suspect. Now, I did say, if you carry on up this road, you will eventually get to Fleetwood. You go through Cleveland, you just stay on this road all the way. And it changes from Devonshire Road to Fleetwood Road before you get to Cleveland. So yeah, the wall carries on, it goes all the way around, and then it becomes like railings, quite fancy railings. We'll have a little look at that, shall we? Around the corner. It does get... It does actually get, this road does actually get a little bit more, I don't know whether to say affluent, but more upmarket as you head across this junction. It suddenly, it seems to suddenly become more upmarket. There's grass verges, trees, and bigger houses. I did do a video on there a while back. Takes you up towards the water tower as well. I'll just head down this way. We're on the corner now. There's a road there, Talbot Road. I've just nipped over the road to give you a look from the other side. Tell you what, this junction here is pretty busy, but at tea time on a Sunday, it's not too bad. Now we're looking straight over to that corner there. That's where the abattoir used to be. And also the Catterall and Swarbrick Brewery. Yeah, Catterall and Swarbrick Brewery was I don't remember it myself, but I'm told that it was a really, really grand building. I do remember the abattoir being there, though. It was right over there. So I'll head down Talbot Road now, westbound. So if you look over there, there's a load of, not sort of new houses, newish houses, I suppose. And they're built on the site of the 
well, the, the brewery and the abattoir, I suppose. And the brewery was gone long ago. I think it was, I uh, can't remember now. They brewed bass there as well, but they moved the operations to Runcorn. So that's where the Catterall and Swarbrick brewery was. If anyone knows what it looked like, let me know if anyone remembers it. But look at this now. We're around the other side of the site, and as you can see, not so much of a wall now, but we've got these iron railings. My goodness, look at these railings here. Hey. They didn't uh, spare any money in the olden days when they built these things. Mind you, you can tell that's a new that's a new entrance there, isn't it? Let's have a little look in here from this side, shall we? It is a pretty big site. Look at this. And like I say, the ambulance service were using it temporarily before. Just over there is Spencer Court. It's like a sheltered, I'm not, they're probably sheltered aren't they, flats, over there, uh, if you go back that way you get to the railway line, I've not actually been down that road as far as I know, but uh, I'm just making my way round, look at these railings here, are they, are they going to, uh, are they going to do these, they're going to do them up aren't they, they're not going to get rid of them are they? But you do see a lot of walls don't you, where they've taken the railings down and melted them down, probably during the war. But not these, look at that. Wow, I wouldn't want to land on that from a height. It's quite a busy bus route. Target road. So, we're just looking into the Spencer Court estate over there, there's a massive sign up there which says Holton or Lancaster, straight down Target Road. So if I carry on this way, straight down here, I'll get to the north here. But we're just on this corner now. We're just having a good walk around this, this site here. This is Coleridge Road, and as you can see, they've built a load of new houses over here. Look, they look pretty smart, these. What used to be here? I can't actually remember myself but these are quite swanky aren't they it looks like i'm going to come out round the back of that building i was talking about before but we can have a look through these impressive railings again and have a look at the site from this side look there you go we have had a pretty good look around this site used to be the devonshire road hospital I don't remember it myself, but I know that it was demolished um, not too long ago. I know some people who got pictures of it before it was demolished. There's another way in there, look. Warning, heavy plant movements. So that's another way in from this road. What have we got over here? Well, we're around the back of that. It looks a bit like a telephone exchange, doesn't it? What do you reckon? It's a proper 60s monstrosity, that, isn't it? Suddles, animal feed and corn merchants. Established 1937. There you go. Check them out here on Coleridge Road in Blackpool. Now then, we made it to this place in the end. It's called the Well Church. Meeting here Sundays at 10.30 a.m. Check it out, the Well Church. Some kids they all. I'll try and avoid the kids. So that is a church. We've got some more fairly new houses over the road. We'll have a look from the other side of the road. Yeah, I don't really remember what's I'm not really that familiar with this area, so someone might let me know. But there you go, that building now is the Well Church. Oh my God, it's horrible, isn't it? It's horrible, isn't it? Some dodgy characters around here are all right. <laughs> uh, but anyway, that was a little look at this area. We had a look at Devonshire Road and uh, we checked out the 
the area there that used to be where the Queenstown flats were, the Queenstown flats or the Leighton flats, whatever you want to call them. And we also took a look at the site of the old Devonshire Road Hospital, which is going to be the new Blackpool Magistrates Courts. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there now. If you like the video, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos. And I'll see you again on the next one.